Hey cousin, I am done for one for one part of my day. Um, I had my cohort today, and it's a group of it's a group of three. And it's, like, some white girl and then, like, a Hispanic girl from Brooklyn. And, um, the Hispanic lady, like, instantly took charge. And I know those types, right? Um, so there, so in the way of, like, leadership... Truly, a natural leader will assess everybody's um, capabilities. And then there's a different type of personality that is not a leader, but fancy themselves as such. And I know this just from experience and I've had to change my own thing because I used to be this type of person. They fancy themselves as a leader, which they're not, but they want to demonstrate it and dominate right away. So I came in like, well, let's figure out um, kind of like roles. And she took over, which it was what it was. And maybe about 15 minutes in, I said, can you guys um, just give me 60 seconds? Because we ended up dividing it into three parts, this presentation. And she was focusing a lot and gave, she, was, she only does the introduction, which is fine, but she gave herself 15 minutes to do it. And the meat of the part, which is what I'm doing, uh, because I'm a talker and a communicator, that she also gave 15 minutes, which is fine, because it'll all come out in the wash anyway. Um, but I said, can you guys just give me... 60 seconds because she was fretting so much she was like micromanaging the details so I did my 60 seconds and I laid out how the presentation could go and the white girl was like yeah let's let's just do it let's like totally do that right like it flows it's cohesive we all get apart. It's collaborative. And then even like the fake leader was like, yeah, you did a good job of highlighting what I already said. And so anyway, the takeaway is that um, some people really can be dominant, but dominance doesn't equal leadership um and I think that's probably just um a good thing to remember about people and she she probably just wants to um be seen because I'm not a dominant person I always call myself I'm more like a vice president so I'm the type to observe the leader, I will probably position myself as the right hand man and observe the leader and then assist the leader. Rule number 16, I think, or it's not rule number 16, but one of the laws of power is like don't outshine the master. So I'm cool with getting the leader's accolades and praise in the background. And then I look like I'm just playing my part, right? If ever the leader falters, I will make them look good with my own competence, right? Like fill in the blanks for them so that they can then say, thank you. That's exalting in front of the public. It's like um, when Joshua uh, did what the Lord said, the Lord then exalted Joshua in front of the other Israelites, at which elevated him in their eyes, right? Uh, biblical leadership. We're going through it right now um, on my channel. So interesting. And then if ever there's 
a situation where I do need to take charge and become the president, I'm well equipped because typically how that works is like I already have some amount of respect. I have a natural following and I have the um, skills and knowledge from watching the leader, which then makes it a soft transition into my leadership because I'm not a new person from the outside coming in. Do you see how that works, cousin? Um, anyway, none of this I will ever say in the classroom because these dominant types also don't listen, which is how they remain dominant non-leaders, right? You're not a leader if nobody's following you. That's what I tell kids. As kids like to push to be in the front of the line. If you don't know what you're doing, you need to be quiet and face forward when you're at the front of the line. That's your point of the leader because everybody's looking at you for what they should be doing. If you can't do that, you just want to be in front and sit there and talk and push and shove. Where Where is that respect? What are you doing? You feel me? Anyway, I was glad for this lady. I have to deal with her tomorrow, too. But I was glad for it because it just reminded me of making sure I'm honing my own leadership skills in a way that allows for respect and um, not dominance. Talk to you later.